幽霊の妖怪大好きなレッドという魔法使いの息子。All right, let's go. Try to pay attention to where I level up this time. It's like those pot lady power-ups always seem to show up somewhere where the screen is scrolling like diagonally or vertically so that they just completely get in the way of everything coming on screen. Although I guess that also highlights that this game does very does a fairly good job of mixing up the scrolling. There are a lot of vertical segments and like staircase segments. Whoa. Game froze while I was loading the boss. Tea time. I was close. It's a bad omen not to get the first tea time bonus. <laughs> so this first one's probably lemon flavored. Hey, Van Arctic, what's up? Thanks for the raid. Thanks. You still playing Radiant Silver Gun over there? What uh, configuration are you going for now? Are you still playing uh, very easy? I think the last time I saw you stream it was when you did the limited weapons very easy. Oh, you're doing uh, arcade normal with the stage two route. Hey, Blur SGG. Uh, thanks for the good luck wishes. I'll need it. This game definitely has. 
some random and dynamic elements to it. Ah, uh, you just need to piece it all together. Yeah. Yeah, it always comes to that point. Trying to get the 1cc for the real game. Yeah. Yeah, but it was still cool seeing the limited weapons run and everything. Because that's always... Because, you know, when I played Silver Gun for the first time, that's always the first reaction to it. It's like, this is just too complicated. Like, please just give me a normal shot type. Uh, so seeing that at least on very easy that that's possible and very easy in that game still looks pretty fun. Uh, so seeing that it's possible is interesting. It's like yes, you can be this stubborn if you want to be. <laughs> so I'm just grinding uh, these. Snappling enemies for experience. Power up my main shot. I never really thought about it, but Cyveria also uses an experience-based uh, weapon system. That, of course, is another one from Success. And your main shot here actually looks pretty similar to Cyveria. So, um, what I'm trying to do with the crystals this time is not be a real try-hard about it. And just taking what I can get. Because killing the enemies powers up your weapon a lot. And if you take a death while trying to get a crystal, that's a huge waste of power level for very little reward. Like, I think you're better off playing it for the long term. Alright, we'll use a shield here. These things get kind of hectic. Just gotta keep your eye on Cotton when you use this bubble shield, because it's on a timer and there's no audio indicator when it's running out. And I believe that the timer is shortened if you take hits while using the shield. Again, there's not really any audible cue for that. Alright, let's see if we can kill the hands. Time to put up the shield. Uh, to avoid these humming bullets that the skull fires. And now the main body doesn't do too much. Kind of jumps around the screen. All right. I put myself in a trap there. You're going to try Vulcan homing only on normal next time. Yeah, that'll be really cool. Then you have something else in mind. Stage 4 out first. Oh, yeah, you only played the 68,000 cotton. Yeah, it seems like that's what a lot of people play. Uh, isn't the boss base in Indonesian folklore the uh, that skull boss thing? I don't know. I don't. I don't know that I would know, to be honest. But it doesn't ring any bells for me. Like, what specifically the... I don't even know how I'd really describe that boss. It's like a mix of a skeleton zombie creature. But yeah, I think not a lot of people play this PC Engine Cotton. Um, or especially since uh, Reboot and everyone just uses Reboot to play 68,000 mode for the original game. But this one's kind of different than the 68,000 game. It's one of those ports that has different bosses sometimes, a lot of different patterns. Um, the 
balance of the magic and the fairies is a little bit different, which is that's more your standard port material. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely from I haven't actually played the 68,001, but definitely just from looking at them back to back, seems like I would want to play both. to get the full cotton experience. The torso thing. I don't know. Hey, M. Knight's here now, too. Hey, M. Knight. Thanks for jumping in. Alright, so our shot level is good. Hang on. Yeah, now I want to know about the torso thing. Uh, I'll have to see if I can look that up. Get a name for it. So at this point, once you have four fairies, juggling crystals kind of gets, or like strategically juggling crystals gets kind of hard. And so more what I do is just wait till one falls as whatever I want. And then try to rush in and grab it. I uh, don't really want magic. Come on. Because the thing is, you can see it right there, like you're shooting, every time you press the shot button, you're shooting like six projectiles. Uh, if your fairies are lined up with you. Alright, that was a good pickup. That's not really what I wanted. Alright, this boss is pretty easy. It's a little bit of a break. You can stay at the left side of the screen for the whole fight and basically use your fairies to take out the homing projectiles that come towards you. Just use the trail of fairies behind you. But yeah, the, the sprite limit gets uh, way overrun because of all the sprites on the boss. So sometimes you can't even see your shot. And you can kill these spear nipples down at the bottom here. Gives you a little more room if you need to dodge forward. Get trapped by the homing projectile for some reason. But her sword can't hit you when you're in the top left corner. So that's the best place to hang out and do damage. Alright, let's see if we can get a tea time. Or a secret bonus. Really? <laughs> That's painful. It's hard to see exactly what Cotton's hitbox is, so if you need to do a really tight micro dodge on one of those, no, I'm just not good at it. The only Indonesian ghost you know is the crossway or something yeah i don't know how to pronounce that but um i don't know what that is either what's that i always find folklore really interesting ghost stories and stuff like that Alright, well, we've got a f almost got a full fairy army. Six is the max you can hang on to.
And here, yeah, blue magic is going to be very preferable for this boss. Just start out by using the shield. Get some hits in. And then when I feel like the shield is getting close to running out, I'll press the wrong button, use the fairy attack, and then... Because I left myself a lot of time, I'll use the offensive magic as intended. Finish off the boss. So here, I probably... I just need to ignore these crystals. Don't let myself get taken off track. Well, the arrows... Should know better by now. Don't get tempted by the gems. Again, we got these very difficult to see arrows coming up the steps. Need another magic. For this boss coming up, either of the magics is going to be fine. Blue magic is always a little bit safer, and red magic is a little bit faster. Does, does more damage. I will read the ghost notes in a second. Interested. Try to play it safe here, use the bubble shield. Because I've been making a lot of mistakes on this part recently. Come on. Alright, just in time. You do get invincibility during the phase transition, even though you still see enemies. Oh, I meant to use offensive magic, but that's okay. And we kept one magic through the fight. It's always good just for safety to have some magic left over. And you do get a small point bonus for it as well. Alright. There we go. We got at least one secret bonus. Uh, the intonation goes floating head with internal organs hanging out from the neck. Ball seems similar to the Penagalon. Extremely similar from Philippines. That's what you're thinking of. Okay. Interesting. So, Penangalon and Crossway. This is... I'm sure these are really butchered pronunciations. But, uh... I'll have to look those up and, uh... See the inspiration for this boss. It's kind of a random... I don't know. I mean, I guess one of the bosses is a Sphinx. I ended up not needing that magic, actually. Alright, yeah, we just want to refill our magic now, because the main shot is maxed out. Don't even want to mess with the eyeball frogs. They're a pain. All these excess bomb power-ups, the flashing lantern-looking items, uh, a thousand points each, since the ground bomb's already maxed out. All right, so this is a point where I really would like to pick up at least one more magic. There we go. Oh, man. I was... I mean, I did do something really stupid. I just got out barely in time. These two-stage projectiles where they break up into a 
They're like semi-aimed and then they break up into a three-part shot. It's just taxing on my brain geometry when uh especially because they're semi-transparent well these turtles are pretty threatening here being powered up all the way does help a lot because they just have a ton of hp A couple of rocks in the background here that are hard to see, but you can get uh, crushed against back of the screen by them. So, our power levels keeping control of the flow of enemies. What is that gem doing? Get out of here. So even though it looked like I went through the hand, one of the hands there, if you're all the way at the back of the screen, even though they will appear to be touching you, you can still go through them. That's not the case if you're further up on the screen. Uh, the hands will touch you as soon as they come out of the ground. Oh, this is... Oh, blessed RNG there. Barely even had to dodge. Alright. We're in as good a shape as possible, pretty much. Coming into stage 6. Uh, could have more lives if I had gotten more of those secret bonuses, but... It's more important to have full power level. Uh, don't have any magic, so I need to pick that up as quickly as possible. What are the, why do the fairies all start down there? So here, you just got these curving streams of projectiles. And that's always a difficult thing to deal with. Alright, we got magic again. Although I would prefer blue magic to red magic at this point. I have no idea if my main shot is working. The uh, sprite limit is ridiculous right now. I have a sprite flicker. That's not just like a stream thing. I uh, wasn't able to see my main shot either. Here, you kind of just want to stay at the ceiling, stay away from the archers. If your ground bomb is powered up enough, it'll take care of the dragons for you. If not, you kind of need to rely on your fairy shot or magic to do that. Oh, man, I forgot about those knives that were coming out of the pit. All right, let's get some of this blue magic. It's a pretty repetitive cycle here. It's gonna stay under the main shot, then go above the laser shot and shoot them while they run across the screen. Once 
again. We're going to leave those eyeball frogs. They're in business. So part of the benefit of being all powered up here is that there's not really any need to worry about the gems. Watch out for these archers. That's way too close. And hopefully we can get magic from this gem. Oh shoot, he hit me as soon as I used the bubble shield. Even though the ground is lava, I'm pretty sure you are safe to touch it here. All right. Another really lucky RNG tea time. So I think this run is no death so far. Going into the final boss. But your resources won't win this fight for you. Well, at least they didn't last time I tried. I think the flavors are chocolate, orange, strawberry, lemon, licorice, and lime, maybe, looks like. Oh, and cherry. The willow flavors. Yeah, you idiot. Don't you know how to count seven? You only got six. No fairyland for you. So what I want to do here is actually focus on these skull projectiles that she's firing. Um, basically, uh, yeah, I didn't didn't want her to get behind me because that makes it a lot harder to do. And these things just spiral around forever. Move really fast. So it's best to try to kill them as soon as they're spawned. And uh, when she warps, it's based on your position. So you don't want to just hug the left side of the screen because then she's just going to warp over there. It's harder for you to dodge. All right. Actually, that wasn't bad at all. <laughs> uh, it makes a huge difference being fully leveled up. Uh, then when I... My save state for practicing that... Oh, I forgot. There's one more tea time. My save state for practicing that, I was like... Only halfway powered up. And it was way harder to kill the skulls and do damage to her. So that's it for loop one. Yeah, lemon, licorice, lime, cherry, chocolate, orange, strawberry. 
saying that's the flavors. I mean, the white could be vanilla. It's always boring, though. I think that was one life clear. No miss. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching. I'm glad I got this done today before it got too late. This one for PC Engine, I would say, is in like the. Like, if you're rating difficulties from one to five, I would say this is like a three or a four, maybe. Yeah, this is a multi loop game. I don't know if it ends after the second loop or if it infinitely loops. We're going to find that out. I better put a save state though, in case I forget. Yeah, no, yeah, I think if I was rating PC Engine from 1 to 5, I'm just thinking through them. I think I'd put this around a 3. It's like harder than Gate of Thunder, but still about the same as Lords of Thunder. Probably easier than like Nexer or Download. Much easier than Sapphire. That would be your five, obviously. Do I need to press a button to move on? Looks like it. All right. Let's see about extra. Let's see what loop two looks like. So right off the bat, I guess, uh, first point of interest is that you keep your power level from loop one. It's not like Gradius looping. Oops, that was too early. What? I don't know if that enemy had more HP because loop two, or if it was just that I was using the lightning magic, because normally I use fire magic there. So let's do more damage. I guess, in theory, at this point, you should be getting yellow crystals to score bonus. Just gonna see how far I can make it, though.
Let's see if the boss is any different. Definitely a lot more HP. Didn't make it, like the fight wasn't that much longer um, than if this was loop one, but on loop one, my main shot wouldn't be even close to this powerful at this point. So the fact that it lasted longer and my shot is more powerful means it had way more HP. And we got another secret bonus on loop two. Don't even need it anymore. Well, hopefully it's not endlessly looping because that would be kind of broken uh, for this game because of the secret bonuses. Like if you could just do the tea time, if you can do the tea time bonus every time, then you get one life per stage for free, setting aside that you pretty much already get lives at a rate of one life per stage. Or more if you're good at gem control. So we just kind of go on endlessly unless it gets really hard, which I kind of doubt because console loop twos are never much to speak of because usually the game is already pushing whatever the hardware can do in terms of sprite limits. Yeah, we're not gonna. Do any milking this time? Let's just get through this fight. Again, definitely more HP there. Yeah, thanks, Fractal Cactus. Thanks for hanging out. Take it easy. So that guy obviously had more HP again, and also seemed like the trees were spawning faster. These clouds have more HP? I don't remember having a, such a hard time Getting through them, but I guess I'm usually not. My ground bomb's usually not powered down at this point. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, the game's starting to slow down now. Want to use defensive magic there? I feel like there was one more zombie there than usual. Normally it would have been two, and instead there were three. Alright. Let's see what this Indonesian Filipino ghost. Up to on loop two. Oh man, that skull is taking forever to kill. I definitely should have just used magic. Again, just seemed like a longer fight. <laughs> Getting all the secret bonuses on loop two.
Oh, there's also uh, no cutscenes on Luke 2. Just noticed that. Back up to six fairies. Still don't know how to kill that enemy. Well, I must get hit from behind by one of the knives. And then I did. Thought we were done with that part. I feel like these boss fights might become crazy long as I get powered down. I get to a second loop I just am like I can't wait for this to end always like the main thing I'm thinking of I just if I blind clear it then that means it's too easy of a second loop to be interesting and if I can't blind clear it then doesn't what difference does it make how far I get just gonna have to come back and practice it later. If I actually wanted to do a two loop clear, which hasn't really come up yet. Ground bombs maxed out again. Our main shot power is still way down. You exponentially lose shot power with deaths since. Um, the experience system requires more experience points for each power level. And when you die, you don't lose a fixed number of experience points, you lose a fixed number of levels. That's what it seems like, at least. The level number is represented by those blue uh, sort of like shield looking icons next to the experience bar. Be easier if they were just numbers to, that you could read. Actually, I think it's a gem. It's not, not a shield. So when it's maxed out, you can tell. Just getting impatient here, not doing the timing correctly. Actually, now that I'm down to one fairy, this fight actually does get kind of harder. Because you need the fairies to defend you from these homing projectiles. Still not down to numbered lives yet, but I should be close. 
game is just like Super C, where your lives indicator maxes out at four, even though you can get well more than that. Do I even want the secret bonus? Yeah. You gotta play it out to the end. Man, they're just throwing them at me in loop two. Three for three. Oops. Just having a wider shot than that by now. Alright, we are finally back to base power level. All right, it's going to take more than just two hits this time. All right, and now we're finally down to countable lives. Just three to go. <laughs> you really need more shot power for this part. Attack for this archer. <laughs> and he managed to hit the pot or the statue. Or well, no oh, magic based recovery there. I think this guy is probably going to end it though, because with the extra HP. These, like, gnomes and bees that spawn here are going to be more of a problem than usual. And they already are kind of a problem. Let's not die with magic in stock, though. Can we get through this phase? Come on, I want this last magic to the next phase. I don't think it's going to happen. This is just going on and on forever. What? You can time out of the first phase of the boss? Oh yeah, I guess since it's milkable, that does make sense. 
Yep, not that. Wow, look at that gnome. They're coming down. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is that what happens if you don't kill the first part of the boss? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, well that's the end of the run. There's a lot of other cotton games to play, so I'm uh, I don't think I'm gonna go back and try to get a full two loop clear, but it is cool that it's there. And you know, if uh, a couple years down the line or something I wanted more cotton, something I might come back to.